Okay, we're live now. <clears throat> All right, Lows and Let's. It's finally time to reveal some dope ass shine. I have here with me the package that a lovely man by the name of Torsten Jewelry sent me in the mail. In this box is two dope ass chains. I did indeed, Wolf. And in this box are those chains. So without further ado, let's open the bad bitch up. Because we about to do this shit juggalo style. If I can get a grip on the damn box, that is. Here we go. Let's see what we got. No, I know. I, I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, Torsten will send it to you eventually, Wolf. Because uh, I don't know what you ordered, but he 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 got his shit to me. There's the uh, there's the card, uh, Torsten's card for anybody who wants to hit him up for some really dope stuff. He does not only chains and uh, pendants, but he also does uh, ring sizing and resizing. Uh, Sterling flatware restoration. He appraises shit. He uh, he does coins. Um, yeah. There's the info. I know it's flipped. I don't know if that'll reflip back when the uh, when the stream is uploaded. But yeah, that's pretty dope. Here's the uh, the wrapped up red box that he sent it to me in. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy. God, this tape is tough. Oh, they tiny as fuck, though. What the fuck? There's some tiny boxes. But let's go ahead and open them up. Oh, yeah. So there's one. There's the hatchet man. If I could undo the fucking chain. There we go. The hatchet man with the with the diamond studded chopper. That's some dopeness right there. And then on the other side we got the number what is that? Nine two five. And then his initials, TJ, Torsten Jewelry. And that's that's sex right there. It's fucking ten. I'm putting that on right away for sure. If I could fucking see the damn thing. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, I might put that on later. But that's dope. Uh, really simple. Really nice. Really clean. Good solid work by my man T. If I could go ahead and get the chain back together. There we go. My first... Actual hatchet man. That's fucking dope. And now for number two. The Juggernauti pendant with rubies. Here we go, ladies and gents. The Jugga fucking naughty pendant. Family, loyalty, nudity means strength. These are some nice chains too, by the way. I think I, I think I got them included in the price. But that is that is really dope. I like that. Really nice quality. Bendable. Got that nice looking ruby in the eye there. You can kind of see it. Oh, what's up, Torsten? Is that you, Ninjamon? That is dope. I'm going to put these on right now really quick. Give me a sec. <laughs> My head too fat. My head too fat. Torsten, I thought you said these bitches would be fucking like 
bigger bigger chains, fam. I'm a big boy, fam. I gotta have my fucking huge chains, bro. Can't even see what the hell I'm doing. Yeah, that's what I thought I was getting, too. I thought I was getting a 30-inch chain. Yeah, fam. I'd be fat, boy. Good God, I cannot get this shit. <laughs> right? Bruh. Did I just fucking... No, I got it. We good. Bruh, I'm gonna need bigger chains, fam. It's cool. I could probably find something at like a store somewhere. Nah, I didn't break nothing, fam. Christ almighty. Uh. Well, damn. I thought... Yeah, I thought... Torsten, I thought we were talking about the fucking, um, the 30-inch chain, though. Because I thought I talked to you about that. Wanting to get one. Okay, <laughs> the chain is finally on my fucking neck. Is there any way to, um, actually, I might be, can I, can I attach these chains together? Can I attach them together and just, like, wear them? Wear them as a, yeah, as a, as a full chain. Because that way I can fucking wear both of them and still have that. There we go. All right. Okay, now it's a big ass long chain. Why I gotta keep them separated though? They my first official chains, why separate them? They both mean the same to me. The offspring sucks. Why are you hating on offspring, fam? Okay. Well, there we is. Them's they both is. Go ahead and split them apart so you can see them. Or, what if I do something like this and actually have a hatchet man in front of the 17? Nah, that's... You gotta let them both shine, fam. You gotta do the do. Gotta do the sets right, you know. That's really good quality, though. I like I like how they turned out. Some good stuff. Where's my hat at? Fuck over here. Yeah, so now I got some dope chains to rock. Juggernauty Ruby, Hatchet Man Diamond. Good shit, Torsten. You did your homie proud. Shmoney. 
Hey, thank you all for joining me on this quick little shindig I got going. I only wanted to do something really quick just to just to show Torsten love. Uh, no, actually, it's sterling silver. Uh, what was it, Torsten? Like 0.997 or something like that? Pure sterling? That is some dopeness, though. Hey, thank you, Danny. Yeah, I finally got my fucking hatchet, brother. Some good shit. If that ain't if that ain't a laminate, then that's fucking. That's some dope shit for sure. Yeah. Excuse me. Well, while I'm here, might as well fucking chill out with you, homies. So what's going on? How y'all doing? Just got home from work myself about an hour ago. I actually, I think I have a shorter chain. I don't know if it's shorter or not, but there's a gold chain I got from my cousin that, um, well, I don't necessarily want to switch it out. Does it have nickel in it, Torsen? It it might. I don't I don't know why it would. Oops. <laughs> My neck going turn green. Homie, if my neck do turn green, I'm a fucking slap somebody. Cause that, I didn't pay no money for the chain that my cousin gave me, but like, bruh, you know, you know what I'm saying, fam? You know how it is, cut. Yeah, but now I finally got some dopeness to rock. Don't mind me, I'm drinking Poser Fago. <coughs> Excuse me. Not enough copper to green the skin. I think they were talking about my uh, my cousin's chain, though. Uh, T. Now all I gotta do is like the music. Shit, you right? Oh yeah, hey Torsten, did you hear I'm a Juffalo apparently? It says everybody in the server basically. I think it's pretty funny too. I mean I don't know about y'all, but I didn't buy this shit because I'm a Juffalo, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fucking. It all started off of one comment I made that, like, I didn't say right. And so it literally sounded like I was shitting on the riddle box. Takes hard to support fine art. <laughs> yeah. But uh, even if I do buy these dope ass chains and I support the music and love all of it and fucking go to the shows and shit, I'll just never be anything but a little juffalo. This juffalo has a fucking chain now though fam bruh I bow to the riddle box fam I kiss Malenko's feet brother man everybody keeps saying that though 
like I know I know y'all's is joking, but like really, you're gonna fuck around and get somebody to beat my ass one day. <laughs> I didn't say it was not a definitive juggalo record. I said that it was a record that like it's not the only record you have to listen to. You don't make an omelet by just cooking up noodles. You gotta put the broth in. You gotta get them nice vegetables and shit. You gotta get all that meat and shit in there. The, the ramen egg and all that. You gotta you can fucking make a big old proportion. You can't just do like the one one of one thing. You know. No, nah, Jesus, you heard me wrong. I said fuck you. We in here, though, fam. The Juggernauti will live, and the Juggalos will ride. We will be what they fear. We will be what they can't. And we will swing our hatchets. Swing our hatchets. And our hatchet mans. And much love to you, though, Torsten, for the dopeness, the shine. You can't can't go wrong with a homie like that who's willing to pour his fucking blood, sweat, and tears into that kind of shit for you. Cause that that's life, homie. That's that's something you can't fuck with, especially when it's like sentimental value to it too. But yeah, no, if y'all haven't gotten any dopeness from Torsten yet, go ahead and do that, because these, these shits is fire. These, these are like, these are some really good. Yeah. I mean, I'd imagine you burn yourself a lot, too. Probably. Just from, like, close proximity to the metal and shit. Plus the torch, right? So, there's that, too. Who's all in this bitch right now? Who's who's watching me? Why did I hit the... Yeah. You like... Yeah. It's pretty dope, though. Drinking soda by the two liter. Yeah, but I started this at like the beginning of the day, fam. Yeah, no, my, my chain was stainless steel too. The uh, the other Malenko charm I got. It's it's actually hanging on the wall over by my bed. Yeah, hell yeah. Go check out Torsten Jewelry on Instagram, fam, because he he's got he's got the hups. He's got the hookups. And Jesus, are you kidding me? Dying by fucking soda, dude? I go into the fucking uh, OR and they fucking cut me open. They're like, okay, how'd he die? And literally just soda spills everywhere. And they're like, holy shit, fucking soda found. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, fuck, fuck Mountain Dew. Fuck Mountain Dew. I said Fago. I heard Mountain Dew can fucking like eat up your in not eat up your intestines, but there's like so much acid and chemicals in that fucking. Hey, don't don't worry about it, fucking KJ. I got I got a Fago over by my bed, fam. That's my relaxation drink. The Pepsi's just to keep me going. I got my Fago over. Uh, I get my Fago from this uh, this grocery store uh, gas station up the street from me. Um, 
they don't have a lot of flavors actually. Well, they ha they have some, but they don't have like every one. Then again, which store has every flavor besides like one in Michigan probably? I think the store the uh, the flavors they got they got Moon Mist, Cotton Candy, Rock and Rye, Red Pop, Moon Mist. I already said Moon Mist. Candy Apple, Cream Soda, Pie Pineapple. And man, I wish they sold grape. That shit's dope. My homie actually made a fucking uh, grape fago cocktail once. It was nice. But yeah, no, I actually I can I can go get my uh, my fago right quick if you all, if y'all want me to not be a chuff right now right quick. I'll be right back. Don't y'all worry, I ain't be juffing. I ain't be juffing. We good. We good. Got that fake red pop, that's the good shit. <laughs> Torsten, wouldn't that be a grape float instead of a root beer float? Just saying, fam. Or, oh, mix it? Like, fucking root beer and Great Fago? Because that'd be kind of dope, actually. <laughs> nah, but we up, we up in this bitch. Got the hatchet, man. Got the fucking... Dragonati pendant. Got my Fago. Got my fucking dope ass hat that I bought from GameStop. I actually have another one, but I like this one a lot because Castlevania is the shit. Hell yeah, brother. Dracula, fucking Alucard. Them shits is my fucking homies. Hell yeah, hype low. Take me to the mole station. Is that like the train station, but like it's a bunch of gophers getting on the train and shit? Torsten, what you know about that Symphony of the Night, though, fam? The mole station. Bruh, Symphony of the Night is my shit, though. That's like, I fuck hard with that one. You know who I just realized I look like? I look like that one dude in those YouTube videos that fucking, um, he does all those, uh, Smash Mouth All Star covers. KJ, are you talking to me or somebody in the chat? <laughs> Oh, hey, didn't Carnival Spirits go live earlier today? Or, or was that yesterday? I don't remember. Don't shave your butthole, wax it. <laughs> the Amazing Atheist. Oh, yeah, the amazing atheist. Fucking, I've heard of him. Or her, I don't remember. I've never watched their videos, but I've heard um, he's in the same vein as like somebody like Count Dankula, who I watch a lot, because he's a fucking funny-ass dude. Y'all haven't watched Count Dankula yet, y'all should, because he's fucking funny. 
he's he's like he's like political sort of not not really political but he like touches on those kinds of issues and shit uh he does this one segment on his show called uh absolute mad lads and he does a bunch of stuff uh, about like people who've just been kind of just like like crazy or um just absolutely just like savage uh he's done stuff about purple aki the killdozer Shoko Asahara, who was like the leader of that one cult in Japan that was like fucking some some weird uh weird shit. Yeah, pretty much. <sighs> My wicked elixir, homie. Swear to god. I would die on Fago Red Pot, fam. If somebody told me I had a choice between Fago Red Pop um, that was poisoned and then, like, Mountain Dew that wasn't poisoned, I'd go for the Red Pop. <laughs> like, no lie. <clears throat> it's just good shit, fam. You can't, you can't top Fago. All these other fucking Richie Bitch companies trying to get... <laughs> Well, yeah. Well, I'm on my I'm on my phone right now because my computer doesn't have a fucking camera, and uh, yeah, on some fuck shit. But you know, it is what it is. You make your homie makes do with what he got. Well, yeah, I'm sure it can, but I want to get I want to get my computer up and running a little bit better first, because right now I have. Man, fuck that. Fago's better, though. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, this is my old-ass TV. That was from back when I was, like... I got that when I was, like, seven. No, I was, like, five. But I've had that thing since fucking, like, 2002. And I just, I just had it ever since. Never really got rid of it because it's like sentimental memories and shit. Yeah, fam, I'm fucking seven. Yeah, fucking seven years old. And I got a fucking car and shit. You want to go, faggot? I'm a fucking squeaker, fam. I'll wreck your shit. Probably shouldn't say the word faggot on YouTube. Uh, who the fuck do I care? Yeah, I do. I got a car. I just don't drive it because I don't have a fucking license. <laughs> it's Saturn L300 2003. No, I legit, like, I bought it from my brother because he has his own car. He has a Hyundai Veloster and, like, didn't need the old one anymore. So I was like, yo... I know you still owe me like 2500 bucks, but how, how about we make it just 500 and you just give me the car? All right, later, Torsten. Motherfucker, everything I do is Juffalo. What the hell are you talking about? Juffalo car, Juffalo hat, Juffalo glasses, Juffalo headphones, Juffalo job. Juffalo drink, motherfucker. I bleed, Juffalo. Step up your game, fam. Do it, pussy. Jesus, we're going to have a Juff off, and I'm going to win. You're going to cry. I'm going to cry more, but you're going to cry. That's my goal. I'm going to make you cry. I'll cry, so, I'll cry so hard that I'll make you slightly depressed, and then... And you'll cry just a little bit. Just like one solitary tear. Damn straight, homie. You wouldn't win against this motherfucker. No. <coughs> Bless you. Got this fucking rash on my hand right here. Don't know if you can see it. But it's 
fucking me up. I don't know if it's eczema or if it's a fucking, like, I'm allergic to the cat's hair or something, or if I'm just getting, like, bitten up in my fucking, by bugs or some shit. It's weird. This channel should be called Talent, because it's what you'll never fucking get, homie. See, Hyplo, I've been planning on that for a while now, but I got a method to my madness, homie. I have a method to how I slay the pussy. Where'd I put my lighter? Fuck. I didn't even put it back in my pocket, did I? Goddamn. Oh, there it is. Put it, on, put it on my fucking phone. The white lighter, fam. The infamous curse. I'm gonna die in like three years. Because of this fucking cursed white lighter. Nah, but we chillin' though. How was your day, Jesus? Do any juggalo things lately? Nah, you ain't doing no juggalo shit. So... The Gathering website is a, currently encountering some problems. People are upset that they can't get their Bolasite passes. And I feel for them because, you know, those Bolasite passes are pretty dope. 50 by 25, I think it was, for the uh, for each Bolasite. And then the the uh, What's it called? The uh, bootleg ball of sites, like 40, to 40 by 25. An interesting fucking um, thing. I would have bought one if I had an RV. Even then, I probably wouldn't have. It's about the experience of the thing, I think, you know? You gotta fucking go and. For the next for the next five times I go to the gathering, I mean, like you know, I'm gonna do that whole thing where you 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 site gather instead of hotel gather. What's everybody else's plan for the gathering? Now that we're about four months out. No? You sure? Oh, I want to just up and leave my podcast. No, I'm kidding. Nah. No, uh, just try to damn this be there in the first place. Yeah, right? I actually talked to my homies that, um, that I got over here uh, that are juggalos. And, uh, because I work, I work with a juggalette. She's a driver at Pizza Hut. And she said that she wants to go. And she, she, uh, she, her boyfriend wants to go too. So, probably going to buy them tickets and shit. Or at least buy her a ticket. I don't know. Uh, her boyfriend probably has enough money to buy his own. But, yeah, that'd be dope to go with them too. Because I know Skeletor's going. I know Alex is going. And then my other friends. Anyway, I think I've paddled on long enough. Uh, this was originally just an unboxing video, just a little bit of a quick chill, quick hangout sesh. 
Um, with that being said, thank you again, Torsten, for the uh, the dope shine. I fucking love him. Gotta have that that hatchet man, you know. Oh, what's up, Ninja? <laughs> I was actually about to um I was actually about to shut off the podcast cuz I wasn't really doing nothing much. Uh But yeah. Uh thank you guys for uh coming coming by. I might do another actual podcast like a, a full episode uh later tonight if nothing else is going on. Or I might just save it for later in the week. Um, not later in the week per se, but uh, a couple days from now, like when I when I get off work. But yeah, uh, thank you all for tuning in. Um, one more thanks again, a big thanks to Torsten for sending me these fucking dope chains, and uh, I hope I get to buy more shit from him in the future because he's got some dope stuff. So uh, go check him out on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, that's Torsten underscore Jewelry. He posted it up in the chat earlier. So if you scroll back a little, you might be able to see it. Um, Yeah, with that being said, uh, thank you all for tuning in. And I am the Voice Box Podcast. Y'all have been amazing. See you next time. Whoop, whoop.